Hey everyone, Soundwave884 here with some Transformers news revealed by IGN and Transformers Official. We got our first look at two Transformers Legacy figures. Coming up first, we have Bulkhead, which is pretty much just a hound from the Bayverse movies. That's how he looks. It, or some people are saying it's Bulkhead g one ified Sure. I don't mind it. I like some updates to older figures. Apparently when the Transformers first came back around in the mid-2000s when we got the Classics line, it was like updated versions of the G1 figures. And I like that. It, I like it to be G1. I want my G1 fix. But I also like to see some new updated designs based on certain characters, G1 characters. And even if it just as a powerful grunt, this figure I think looks cool. can fill that kind of role. Now on something that's purely G1. This is G1 Skids. This is Skids from the Legacy line. G1ified, definitely. It is a good update to G1 Skids. Now I think the vehicle mode is a little bit too boxy for my stand, for my taste, but I think it still looks good. The robot mode, I definitely do like. And with MP Skids coming around, I figured they'd be making a Chug style figure based on that, or a Generation style figure based on that. Now he does have a clear plastic weapon. I don't understand that, but I think uh, Bulkhead has one as well. Uh, then he comes with his more G1-like weapons. And he's just a good mix of toy and, I think, tune here. And I think it'd be a nice figure just to have in your collection. I want a good updated G1 skids. Now, I do feel this fills that role uh, better so than the Thrilling 30 skids, which is more just IDW skids, uh, which is more, like as you say, an updated form of this. But the car mode here really uh, reminds me of that one uh, G1 episode. Uh, I can't remember which one it is now. Uh, Triple takeover where skids is driving around I actually got some other close shots of skids in vehicle mode and that what that's what this reminds me of right there the boxy g1 look uh just kind of wish hasbro would give them some hubcaps that's how i hate when they have pinned wheels and you get the silver pin and the other ones are that little pop-in wheels and you don't have anything i don't like the mix matched look there but that's something that you can fix with a nice little silver paint marker or something and just do some little customized touch-ups on your own. Even Bulkhead, he's just straight black wheels, but he's a military vehicle, and sometimes I kind of expect that from military and like uh, police vehicles and stuff. So what's your thoughts on the first reveals from the Legacy line? Uh, does it make you excited for the other figures you might see coming soon, like Blaster? Or you're not liking the look of these figures, thinking they made it look a little bit more cheapish than, say, the past Siege uh in the war for cybertron trilogy let me know down in the comments below and thanks for watching this quick news update till the next one peace out